Hello everyone, we are in the uh, grind phase, kinda, where we just fight and get EXP. Hey, look at this new monster. A Batterfly and a Teeny Sanguini. I remember Batterflies being a piece of shit. Uh, Teeny Sanguini is just fluffing around, apparently. Ooh. Yeah, they hit a lot harder. Oh, don't miss. That's not good. And a medicinal herb. Cool. We're not going to use those. You like the teeny sanguinis? Ah, you missed. Like a spear through the face. It doesn't take too long to get the first few levels either, so... See, I'm already level 4. Got a bunch of strength, bunch of agility, resilience, deafness, charm, magical mending, might, HP, MP, attributes improve, 5 gold coins. If I'm right, level 5 will give me something that I'm looking for, so... Uh, that's why I'm not buying anything until I get there. Hey, a Jackie! Jackies have been in it since Dragon Quest 1. Their look has been maintained uh, roughly the same look since then, too. Only now you can actually see them flap their wings. Blanc. Hey, you gave me 18 gold coins. We need to fight more of those. Shit, I didn't want to fight this one. Oh. EXP, some gold. Teeny sanguinis. Oh no, cloud of sand. Ah, uh, it didn't work. You tried though, you tried. Take that Sasquatch. 15 gold coins. And defeated. Some ESP. Jack Cruel Cumber. Oh, I was getting packed. Just 
Just like a toss eye over a heel. It's my last heal though. Next time I have to heal, I'll have to go into town. I got a batter fly though. Just one. Stood no chance. There we go, we're level 5. Strength goes up to 18, agility, everything goes up again. Three skill points, that's what I wanted right there. Okay. Use the skill points you earn to increase party members' skills and learn new spells, abilities, and traits. The allocate skill points command is now available from the miscellaneous menu. You can allocate skill points from the miscellaneous menu whenever you like. Alright, so we're going to have to pick sword, whip, ban, shield, and lifeness. Shield is actually a surprisingly really good skill, and you're going to want it. But we're going to roll the dice and pick which one we get, which is why I didn't go and buy items. Because if I get sword skill, then I will level with uh, my, or I'll buy the soldier's sword. If I get fan, then I'll buy the fan, so on and so forth. Uh, give me a moment, though. I'm just going to go grab my dice. Okay, so, for those of you uh, interested, my dad is also playing the game at the same time. So if I roll a dice twice, it's just because he also wants to play with the dice system. So when he gets to this point, if he isn't already, I'm going to roll the dice for myself. We got a 12, so if 10 is lightness, I'm going to be using whips. That's my first point, okay. So, let me open up my spreadsheet here. So I can mark down what my character is using. Miro whips as the first one. Okay. Confirm. And skill point allocation? Yes. Miro learns hypno whip. Whipper Snapper awarded to Miro for earning her grade one whip proficiency certificate. Yeah. Okay. So we go back in here. Dad, for you, we're going to roll the dice. You get four. You have to put points into shield. Stay at Aaron's place for the night. Oh, hello. There have been a lot more monsters there, but since the earthquake, be careful. Extra careful since you're uh, traveling outside the village. As if losing a battle isn't bad enough, you lose half your gold coins if you get defeated too. Now there's a slap in the face. Welcome back, Miro. You must be tired of being out and about this late. You should try to get some rest. Would you like to turn in for the night? Yeah. Alright, so... I suppose I'll see you later then. There are some good things about having the uh, character maker to use whips. Whips hit everything in a group. Pointless at this point, since I haven't run into anything that's actually been in a group yet, but they do. I may not actually get a whip at this point yet, either. Oh, there, there we do. We have a leather whip. Okay. So I'm gonna buy Miro a leather whip. It's three points weaker than my copper sword, but like I said, it hits everything in a group. Uh, no. I wanna put the red away. Uh, after that, we're gonna buy ourselves some leather armor. There we go. If you 
can tell Miro's armor changed. So gloves with cotton gloves would be good. Uh, cotton trousers are about the same as what I'm wearing, I think. Sandals would be good. Leather shoes would be good. For now, though, let's just get ourselves the leather shield because it's the most expensive. An unsophisticated shield of leather over lumber. A uh, pot lid, a super simple shield shaped by sticking a strap on a saucepan lid. Plain clothes, a bog standard bit of kit made of common cloth. Wayfarer's clothes, hardy hemp and togs, treasured by travelers. Feather fan, a flamboyant fan made from peacock feathers. Leather armor, full, fully frill-free armor of firm tanned leather. One of the male mitts made of unfancy fabric are the cotton gloves. Underwear by men, for men, boxer shorts. Simple slacks made of standard stuff, cotton trousers. Simply slip-ons that slip on simply. Sandals. Folksy, yet in f fashion fashionable. Animal skin shoes. Alright. Leather shield. Nope, we don't have enough for anything else, so we're gonna move on in our game. First thing we're gonna do though is save our game. So I have my, uh. Copper sword. Here's the equip menu. We're just missing an accessory, gloves, and a hat for now. We'll get the others in a bit. So if I equip my whip, you'll see my uh, character model changes. I should actually keep the whip on, even though it's a little weaker, until I get to a boss fight, because Hypno Whip is probably not going to be that great. Confession! Alright, we're gonna take Ivor over to the landslide and figure out exactly what the hell happened. I'll fight anything that spies me though. Alright, let's show you some Hypno Lash. Hypno Whips, a loopy lash that sometimes confuses an enemy, okay. I win. Some EXP, some gold. Plus fighting some things will get me some gold to buy the cotton gloves and the bana bandana. But if they want to fight me, okay, I didn't mean to fight that, but whatever. No, not slime! Alright, and well, the slime dude give me a slime drop, and I'm gonna need some of those later, so that's worthwhile. I suppose. Okay, so they picked up very large hitboxes. Yeah, I win though. Seven gold coins. EXP. Oh man, there's some jobs in this, uh... Oh. This way to the pass. Oh, there's a new monster. Let's fight it. Some of you, uh, might recognize the Bodkin Archer. Oh, he's still alive. And he's done. Okay. 
Fighting machines. Oh, I dropped a treasure chest. It's a leather hat! Alright, I don't need to actually go buy anything now. I can just equip that. Here we go. Did I equip it already? No. Oh, okay, here it is. 34. Yeah, I'll, I'll use that. And for some reason, it increases my ability to heal people. Hello, silly. You've been really quiet today. How's work treating you? So I'm gonna explore up here a bit. Could be treasure. Hiding in the trees. Slime. And a bodkin archer. I don't think there's anything up here. At least there hasn't shown to be anything up here yet. Nope, nothing. Okay, that's weird. That's weird. I don't know the monster's chasing me anymore. They're just like standing there like, duh. We arrived at night time. It's okay, but you saw the Bodkin Archer? That's good. Finally, we're here at last. The land says somewhere in these woods, apparently. All right, let's go into these woods. What are you staring at? It's just a fallen tree. I don't get what's so fascinating about it. You can probably, you can be properly weird sometimes. You know that? The landslide's this way. I'll go on ahead. Of course you will. Oh, a gold ring. Let's equip that. I don't know if it does anything, but whatever. That gives you some defense. It's worth hanging on to. I know gold rings were useful in Dragon Quest VIII for uh, uh, alchemy. Door is so tight, and there's no way to open it. Well, fine. Fuck you too, then. That was weird. It was almost as if she could see the Starlight Express. The Starlight Express. Mira reads the sign. It head lies Stornway. I'm sure it does. This is worse than I thought. Is this it? But it's so much bigger than I thought. You and I will never be able to shift this on our own, stupid landslide. I was really ready to see the look on Dad's face when I came back to the village a hero. Ah! Hello? Is somebody there? Hello? If you're there, say something. Huh? It sounds like there's somebody on the other side of the side. Hey! I'm over here! It's me! Ivor from Angel Falls! No doubt you've heard of me! Jing! Someone from Angel Falls! We're soldiers sent from Stormway! King Shot sent us to clear the landslide! Blimey! The King of Stormway must really rate Angel Falls to bother helping us out like that. I suppose that means we're not really needed here then. Huh? Now I wish we hadn't bothered coming all this way. Wait! There's an urgent matter we need to ask you about! Do you happen to know if a lass called Patty made her way to your village just uh, after the earthquake? She works at the inn in Stormway, but she took off one day for the Angel Falls, and we've heard nothing of her since. Patty? Nope, she doesn't ring any bells. Why would she want to come to Angel Falls anyway? Aye, well, rumor has it she was on her way through here, through the hexagon. The path that there has been blocked too, though, so we have no way of finding out where she is. The hexagon, that old rune we used to have to go traipsing all the way through before the pass was built? 
No one goes there anymore. It's just jam-packed with monsters and falling apart so badly, it might come down on your head. There's no way a woman would go through there alone. The rumors must be wrong. Alright, well perhaps you could just relay to your village the fact that the road will be open again soon. If you could ask around about Patty while you're at it, that'd be grand. No problem, I'll just leave it to me. You can always count on Ivor. Come on, Miro, home time. I reckon they'll be all be pretty pleased to hear the news. Alright, let's go home. Let us go home. Let us away. Oh shit. Oh well, we're fighting this too, I guess. A sack squash. Oh, you're done. Ivor made short work of that. Is Ivor wearing like a leather cuirass or something? That cucumber just like dashed out of nowhere. It's alright though, it's friend got its revenge. I don't know, I mentioned it before, but I think it's hilarious how their spear like flies up in the air and impales them in the face. All these monsters just spawn in my path and just stand there as I walk by them. Whatevs. One thing I really like about Dragon Quest IX is how your appearance changes based on what you're wearing. Downside is some of the hardest stuff in the, get in the game is legitimately hard to get. The path was made by villagers from Angel Falls back in my grandfather's day. Before that, they had to go through those old drones called the Hexagon across the mountains. The drones got too dangerous to pass, though. They would collapse at the drop of a hat, and they were filled with monsters, too. That's why they decided it would be better to cut to, into the mountain and make a new road altogether. Some believe that there's a paradise high in the sky where the, all the guardians live. Unfortunately, it's not visible to us mere mortals. It's a great shame. Why are you pretty on to something, then? saved. We're not quite done yet. We've still got quite a bit of time left for today's stream. So we're going to go into Aaron's place and we're going to we're going to go to sleep. Should we upstairs? It's not even here. Let's hop in the bed. Alright, let's go to the inn or the or Ivor's house. I'm not sure which. Dragon Quest 8 for some reason. Or not Dragon Quest 8, Final Fantasy 8. Hello, Miro! I know we haven't had any customers lately, but I have be, got to be ready to welcome them just in case. What are you still doing hanging around with Ivor anyway? Surely you're fed up with him by now? You won't be bad mouthing me like that for much longer, you know. You'll see, you'll be thanking me before long. I better go and report to Dad. I'm off, uh, I'm off home now, Miro. Hey, Super Player 2, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream. I see, so the soldiers from Stormway should have passed through clear for us uh, before long. That's right, everyone will be so relieved to hear the news. Ivor saves the day, eh? Don't be ridiculous, you're foolish to go all the way out there. Just the two of you, utterly foolish. 
But why are you so angry? If we hadn't come down to the landslide, you'd never have known it was about to be cleared. So what? If I didn't know now, I'd have found out soon enough. Knowing a little bit sooner is hardly worth risking your life for. That's why I'm angry. That's why you're foolish. Yeah, fine. Uh, oh yeah, there was something else. Something I heard from one of the soldiers. They want us to find some girl named Patty who went missing on her way here. Wait a minute, is that true? Aaron, what are you doing here? What do you think? I'm here because I heard you whisked Miro off on some silly adventure. Anyway, never mind that. Is it true that Patty from Stormway has gone missing? Oh uh, yes, you're from Stormway originally, aren't you, Aaron? Do you know the woman? I seem to remember my dad talking about someone called Patty from his days in Stormway. Oh dear, maybe she didn't know he passed away and she was coming to here to see him. Well, I can understand everyone's concerns, but we can't very well send off a search party with no need to go on. Actually, the soldier says something about how she might have been on her way here through the Hexagon. Is that so? Well, even if that's the case, we still can't be of any help. The Hexagon is far too dangerous nowadays. Aaron, why don't you take Mira home now? Try not to worry too much. I'd appreciate a bit of privacy so I could talk to uh, some sense to this pig-headed son of mine. L there's no need for that, Dad! I am excellent! I am anxiously awaiting my new computer chair because it, this one sucks. I was so worried when I heard that you left the village, Miro. You seem to be unscathed, though, and you're obviously a lot tougher than I thought. Speaking of which, am I... I wonder if I could ask you a favor, Miro. You see, I'm quite worried about all this tack of Patty going missing. So I was wondering if you could... No, no, never mind. The Hexagon is really too dangerous. I couldn't possibly ask that much of you. Yeah, that's right, you couldn't. I'm obviously worried about Patty, but it's far too dangerous to go after the Hexagon looking for her. All I can do is pray to the Almighty to keep her safe. Guardian Miro, please watch over Patty and see that she comes to no harm. I have a tantrum. <laughs> what are you up to today, Super Play? Super Player 2? This is the beginning of the game, yep. Dressed in leather armor, and we're ready to go. We're raring to go. Probably a ghost or something out here, isn't there? Actually, maybe I can buy the ghost now, so I'll have to do it later. Made a chemistry lesson for work? That's pretty good. I always did pretty good in chemistry in school. There we go. Now we're almost a, a proper Saiyan. We just need blue pants and uh, and white boots. Oh, I hate when I have to work late. Oh wait, I work late every day. <laughs> Let's go speak to Ivar, see what's up with him. What is it, Mero? Can't you see that I'm busy? Be off with you! Hi, Mero. You wouldn't believe how much Dad's been on me since we got back. My head's about to burst, I can tell you. Ahem! What do you think you're... What do you think you're up to? I have not finished with you yet, not by a long sight. Sorry, Dad. I'm listening. I'm listening. It may be called early. I suppose that's true. You know what? Okay, fuck off, buddy. Why do you keep telling me about a stylus? Ivor hasn't done anything. Still, my, my old son has got himself a bride. Hopefully it won't be long before I have time to follow suit. It's true. 
Nay, nay. Nay. It'd be funny if the two horses just hate each other. This is only a DS game, it's not 3DS. Yep, came out before the 3DS was released. Let's save our game. Yep, I recently beat Dragon Quest VIII, and then I did Chocobo's Dungeon, and uh, next on my list was nine, so we started that. The only thing I don't like about Dragon Quest Nine, well, not the only thing, but the main thing I don't like about Dragon Quest Nine is, uh, for the sake of streaming, it's it jumps back and forth between the bottom and uh, top screen for activity. Like when I'm moving around the map, everything occurs on the bottom screen, but when I'm moving around, or when I'm in battle, everything's on the top screen. He just understood about service, that's all. He made people feel really welcome. I'm sure he could have made a success of any end, no matter where it was. Come to think of it, Erin wasn't actually born here. She was born in Stornway. She's been living here since she was so tiny that I'd almost forgotten. Oh yeah. Chocobot was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm saving the secret content, though. I'll do that on uh, recording and put it on my YouTube. Did you know that the water from these falls is famous? It's called Angel's Tears. Drinking it makes you strong. Strong enough to fight off any illness you can think of. It's delicious to boot. It's water. Okay. Don't quite remember what I'm supposed to do now. Unfortunately, I got a backlog of stuff to put in my uh, in my YouTube channel. I got um, Final Fantasy IV. I'm working on now. I just beat the uh, recently uploaded my video of me beating the Iron Giant from Final Fantasy III. Welcome back, Miro. If you're tired, you can always rest here. But Final Fantasy IV requires a lot of extra work to get the. Uh, Stuff needed to beat the uh, security or uh, the secret boss. One of them requires you to actually beat the and beat the game and then play through the entire damn thing again. No. Okay. Well, that's it for that recording. Stop it. Set up another one.